Hey guys, um, welcome to my May bullet journal setup. I know this video is very late, sorry. Um, I have already set it all up, um, I actually set it all up a while ago, and I just completely forgot to finish filming and editing it. So um, I'm going to do my usual quick flip through of April and then setting up May and then flip through of May. Um, but because I've already edited the actual setting it up, I'm aware that it's going to be very long. So I will put timestamps in the description if you want to just skip ahead to when I actually set up um, May. Um, right, so let me find April. Sorry. Right, that is just a slightly more journaling bit of my bullet journal, so I'll just cover that up. So I hope the lighting is okay. You'll also notice there's probably quite a few changes in lighting in this because I filmed it over quite a while because I just kept setting up my journal in bits. Hold on. And turn on an extra bit of light. Okay. So, I hope that makes it a bit clearer. So, if you've seen my last month's setup, you'll remember it was the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I was trying a lot of different things in this setup, and a lot of them did not work. So, you'll see that. Um, so, there's my cover page with Esmeralda, and I do love that so much. I'm not crazy on actually how the stained glass thingy turned out, but I just love this bit. Just block that bit out, and I love it. So, my actual month at a glance. I wound up leaving it quite blank actually. Um, this is where I started messing around with the stickers I got from my sticky club, which you can see I keep them in here. And there's the rest of them. Well, they're not them, but that's them. <laughs> anyway, so I started messing around with some of them. So I have like stained glass window here. I put that there to mark my birthday. And I just did the big roses. And I started messing around with brush lettering. I'm not very good but I'm trying. Um, yeah, I keep forgetting there's things in this I'm meant to cover. Bear with me. Okay, hopefully I've covered up everything I needed to. So, so next we have my habit tracker and this is, you can see, just some of the habits I track are personal so I'll cover them. And I'm doing pretty well with actually tracking this. Um, the bits that I've shaded in with pencil are where I just completely forgot to track for a few days. <gasps> I never finished my mood tracker. I can't believe I've only just noticed that. God damn it, and I can't remember what my moods were these days. I was doing so well on this one. I wanted it to be completely filled. Oh, I'm so annoyed at that. Oh, there's no way I can remember what my mood was, is there? I often kind of look back at things and think like, well, maybe that will spark how I felt, but no, I'd have to just color them all in meh, and I don't want to. God damn it. Okay, that's my mood tracking anyway, such as it was. And this was my attempt at a doodle a day challenge. I got very far, didn't I? I made it to the fifth and even then they're, they're half finished. I was like, I can't draw a stained glass window. I can't draw that woven band thing. That was the beginning of a pigeon. <laughs> no, so that did not work. I will not be bothering trying that again. Um. Next we have my essay tracker. So I had two essays due in the space of like, not they were both due at the same time, but I had to write them all in the space of like three weeks. So I really had to just get them done. And <laughs> you can see this fun plummet. This is when I was very stressed because I had to start again. That was not fun. Um, and again, using one of these stickers, the whole after the storm comes calm. I'm pretty sure I explained that, but that's like, you know, after assignments are done, these are the things I want to do. Um, I haven't finished Jessica Jones yet. I've joined Skillshare, not actually started it. Uh, I got a library card, so I've started getting library books. But yeah, in general, I'm not doing many of these because now I'm stressing out my dissertation. It's just one thing after another. Um, my attempt at a weekly planning, because I had this system back here. Um, so I had the, the Dutch door thingy and yeah, so I did a weekly, I did my weekly, sorry, my dailies here. 
and just a bit of daily journaling. Um, there was no need for all the dailies when I wasn't in class and wasn't having to schedule things as much, but that just left me with all this blank space. So I decided I would do my dailies in my weekly and have like the time block here. So I have, yeah, I started doing to-do lists down the bottom, specific events would go up here and then marking off the big green blocks are when I had work and the pink bits are bits of study and things like that. Trying to do a gratitude log. Again, I didn't keep, keep to it. I'm not good at getting into the habit of doing these things daily. Uh, just another weekly, same thing. This is the kind of way I've stuck with, just like one strip down on the side rather than trying to fill in the whole thing. But anyway, uh, another weekly, pretty much the same. And that is actually it. That was a very brief flip through. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and show you the actual setting up of May, and then I'll do a quick flip through of May and kind of walk you through it all.
so show you my flip through of may as you can see i went with this kind of watercolor dripping dream catcher thing um i honestly don't know why just on a whim i real i think i kind of half realized i hadn't thought of a theme and before i knew it, i was sketching a dream catcher so i just rolled with it so i am sketching dream catchers all through this month um and we have my very plain monthly setup. Uh, again, messing around with brush lettering, trying to get a bit better at it. Um, we have my habit tracker. So you can see here, I am filming this bit several days into the month. But, and I didn't actually film myself doing this. Like I say, I was kind of doing it in bits and this was just one day I was sitting on my bed and I finished that. So that was not recorded, but that's what it looks like overall. And I'm giving mood tracking another go. I'm gonna go with this big feather thing, which was very annoying because I'm using these new pens or these new markers, which I use for the brush lettering. And I didn't realize as I was doing this, the side of my hand all here was smudging it all. So it's a bit dirtier than I would like, but overall I like how it turned out. So well, hopefully I'll get this one filled. I don't miss a day. Um, again, You've seen this before I filled it out, and I know people are like, don't show your financial details, but to be honest, there's not that much detail on them. So there's just my pay for this month, what I've spent so far. So um, I got this idea from another video. Um, I cannot remember who it was, but I will link it in the description. And it was, um, it was all about like uh, finances and, and budgeting and all in your bullet journal. So I tried to do this, the envelope system before where you put a certain amount of cash in an envelope and that envelope is all you have for that category. But I just, I couldn't stick to like pulling out an envelope and digging the cash out. So this is kind of like virtual envelopes. And as you can see, I've nearly spent my entire food budget, which is making me think I need to reconsider that because it's not realistic. Um, but I did do my entire grocery shop the other day, so that will last me very long. Um, and yeah, so I'm just marking off these bits as I spent little bits and if, when that's completely covered that means I know I've spent my budget on that and because this is my first month doing this and I, it's my first month tracking any of my money in quite a while, um, I will have set an unrealistic standards and I know that so I'll reconsider that next month when I change that. And then you have my weekly and this is what it looks like when it's actually been mostly used so i'm filming this now on friday um it is seven o'clock so we're just at this section here and yeah so you could just see bits were getting added in as i went i had you know i had a meeting with a supervisor i had my D, &D campaign and then tomorrow i have to get a bus at 6 a.m to go to an archery competition so that's what my weekly looks like when it's actually all set up and I still have to set up the other weeks which is going to be my next task oh sorry if you could hear that that was my watch grinding along the desk so yeah that is my May bullet journal setup better late than ever I guess and I hope you like it thanks for watching